Hello everyone, welcome to JSN RS Solution channel. Today we will learn about hypothetical flood inundation scenario simulation using ArcMap and ArcSyn. Hope uh, this tutorial is going to be a very interesting one. Uh, then let's begin. So first open ArcMap and then go to customize and then extensions and you have to check 3D analyzed tools. And also you have to activate uh, 3D analyzed tools and then uh, navigate uh, where you have saved your uh, data so i am drag this dem data and uh, drop here so here is my uh, dem data now uh, we have to create uh, a shape file for auto level so for that go to uh, here and then name it as auto level and uh, select uh, polygon as a facer type and then uh, you can see over here the coordinate system is unknown so we have to select coordinate system gcs wgs 984 is my uh, current coordinate system so then go to create features so i have to activate start editing and then uh, create a rectangle So I am going to create a shape file uh, according to my dem data, I mean according to dem area. This shape file is for auto level and then uh, go to attribute table. I am going to add a field. So first I have to stop editing. and then go to here and then add field and I'm going to name it as auto level click OK and I'm um, again uh, start editing and auto level so the lowest auto level uh, I mean I mean lower lowest uh, elevation minus 6 so I have just uh, written here minus 6 about mean sea level and then uh, go to search box and write polygon to raster actually I am going to uh, convert this shape file as raster then polygon to raster and uh, add uh, water level uh, shape file as uh, input uh, features here and value field I am going to uh, select water level as value field and output raster. Select a path where you want to save your file and then uh, rename it. So I am going to name it as water level and then click save. So our water level uh, raster has been uh, generated and then go to uh, arc scene. So navigate uh, your folder where you have uh, your file so I am um, drag this file and draw here and the water level click on the dim file then go to properties and then base heights and check uh, floating on a custom surface and then click ok so after that uh, it looks like that and then go to scene properties and then vertical execution uh, calculate from extent and then apply and ok So now I'm going to uh, change the color ram. Then click OK. Then 
the next step i am going to do is uh, so here is my uh, water level you can see here then go to properties and then uh, symbology and uh, i'm going to uh, give it a unique value change the color then okay So click here and then uh, animation then go to animation manager and here select a uh, layer and then go to create and create animation keyframe here source object as auto level and then uh, click new and here uh, keyframe uh, layer keyframe Uh, so you can create a keyframe as many as you would like to have and uh, here you have to uh, give uh, some values like specify uh, how fast uh, water level uh, layer is going to rise up so I'm going to uh, write here 10 20 30 uh, 40 45 50 60 65 70 75 uh, 80 90 100 105 and 110 this 110 actually means uh, to the highest level that your water level can rise up then close and then uh, Click on animation controls here uh, by duration play options so 20 seconds and then play mode uh, I'm going to select uh, loop forward and reverse and then play animation so you can see here uh, your area will be uh, inundated So the inundation uh, scenario will be look like that. So this is a very uh, hypothetical uh, flood inundation scenario model. So this is not uh, an engineering uh, technique. All right. Uh, in this process, uh, you will get an uh, idea about uh, flood inundation scenario based on digital elevation data. Uh, for doing better flood inundation map, uh, you can use some other software like uh, Mike, uh, Hekras, and uh, many others. Uh, well, I uh, hope you have enjoyed today's video. You can keep in touch by subscribing the channel and get one or two video on weekly basis. Uh, stay safe and happy and have a good day.